Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Germany. I don't even know what episode this is, probably 22 or something like that. But more importantly, how's that war with Russia going? Well, Russia, I don't know. How is that war going? Zero, 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 one. How's that war going, Russia? <laughs> Unfortunately, when you click on them and go to the sunk ships, you can't tell. I would really like if there was a location and date year that it was sunk. That would be that's much more important to me than even the year it was, you know, constructed. After a ship sinks, that's no longer the relevant thing when it was built. More importantly is when it was sunk. But we don't have that option, so and I know that there are a few of these were probably sunk in the previous. Maybe like this one was sunk in the previous um war. This one was sunk this one. And we have the same situation, like which one of these, this was sunk this war. Okay, this was sunk this war. This was sunk this war, wow. So did we sink all of these this war except for one? We only sunk one battleship in the previous war with Russia? I don't believe it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, it would be nice to know which ones were sunk when, but since we don't have that data, we'll just go over to the all screen and see that Russia has very low tonnage all around. Now, they do have two more building, and technically, if we looked at the ship built screen, it shows that two of them are actually built. So I'm a little confused. What is the situation here? Is one of these still being built? Maybe it's being rebuilt? Uh, I don't know. I'm really confused, but um, we'll just ignore it. Doesn't matter. One thing that we need to work on, speaking of like, things that are noticeable is these obsolete ships. I think that maybe since the war is going so well, there's no time like the present to start building for the future. Unfortunately, when we start retrofitting these ships, we're going to lose a lot of our rating capability. The good news is that we are still, whoops, I guess I loaded this game so the messages have been cleared, but um, we're still blockading the Russians. So we probably don't need as many ships Although we do have to be a little bit careful about fulfilling. Okay, Southeast Asia is <laughs> plenty fulfilled. Yeah, that's right. We did, we did bring our battleships over to Southeast Asia, right? So let's go ahead and send three of them into Northeast Asia. I just grabbed any three. So those are hopefully going to exert pressure um, for some battleship invasions. It would be really nice to invade some of the fleet. I don't even need... I don't even think we need more than one uh, battleship. So let's just add four to just further increase the chances that we invade uh, Northeast Asian holdings. Yeah, another thing I was pointing out is you can just, oops, I think double click here. Can you just drag these ships? Oh, that's kind of nice. Didn't know that. So th there's a lot of other tricks you can do for moving. I, I'm a stubborn man. I usually stick to my brutal Excel spreadsheet type view, but there's uh, some more elegant ways that I don't always use. Anyway, so we don't need to take any Russian holdings down here, so we're sending four battleships up here. The extra battleship that we leave in Southeast Asia is basically just going to be a filler for the, some of the ships which we pull out in order to retrofit. Because you can see we're going to lose... Okay, that's not too bad, just two Gefion classes. And I think there's no reason to replace these, like... Um, there's no reason to destroy them. They're pretty low maintenance. Okay, well, not at war at foreign station, but you know, you compare them to northern the northern Europe ships, and they're still cheaper even though they're at foreign station. So that's good. Now these Elsass classes, one of them is damaged. In fact, we have a light cruiser, two light cruisers. Two of our Hamburgs are out. Three of our Hamburgs are out for a while. Two, four, and two. This guy's out for another month. It's it's definitely going to be worthwhile for us to rebuild these as soon as the Weissenberg comes back. And a decorated hero, by the way, the Weissenberg. This is now updating correctly. We actually do have four battles with her. And I mean, they've performed. I think the Elsass class has performed much better than I was expecting. So what are we going to do with our extra money in the meantime? Well, I know just the thing. I don't know if we should go with medium range or mine laying, but since mine laying is more expensive... They're probably, and the more recent ones, they're probably the better ones. So, how are we going to name this? Well, I, I feel like I'm going to name a few after some people who have been very helpful in the comments. Uh, if you want to, if you don't want your name up there, just go ahead and let me know and I'll take it down. But, 
these submarines, I, I have no control over them, so they're never going to see. I wouldn't mind even making users class names like the Sabo class, the Mangini class. It sounds really cool to me. And War Games SA class, submarine. <laughs> so how many more do I want to build? Well, we have tons of money, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, it's a good thing. Why am I treating it like a bad thing? Um, I can't remember. There's some other people who commented, but I only have one of my more recent lists up. So I'll build three more, which will save me. Sorry. Which will save me some minesweepers or mine mine laying submarines that I can build later for some other users. Anyways, thanks for everyone. Uh, thanks for all the comments, all the support. Most recently, I found out that the mines are just a passive element on the strategic map. They don't have any bearing on the tactical gameplay. That's very helpful to know. I've actually spent many a battle trying to avoid the wake of an enemy ship with mines because I thought they would actually drop into the water. So it's, um, yeah, incredibly useful to know that that's just not modeled into the game. Okay, very good. It doesn't mean that mines aren't relevant. They just are only relevant at the strategic level. And sometimes we've seen that, like, um, I think this ship, the Munchen, wasn't she hit by a mine? Isn't that the reason why she's in port for so long? If you are, if you've watched these videos, um, like, closer than I have recorded them, so I, it's been a while since I recorded the episode that one of our ships was hit by a mine layer, a mine, but I think it was probably caused by their ships now having mines. Okay, but anyways, let's get down to it. Let us open design for rebuild, and let's get some upgrades going. We're going to want improved director, which is going to cost us quite a bit. But we'll go ahead and sneak that out by... Oh, God, that's a lot of ammo we have to get rid of. <laughs> and is this... Nope, this is the appropriate... That is a lot of ammo we have to get rid of. Okay, but again, like I've always said, um, the improved firing means that we shouldn't need to land as many hits, right? So I'm still going to do this. I, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. I'd even be willing to take down this to... Wow, that gives a, a lot... Maybe that is useful to do in order to get my turret top up to three. Secondaries, that's fine, I think. How much is this going to cost? Very little. How much is this going to cost? Okay, we're still in business. Wow, okay, that's not bad. So we just increased this at the cost of two guns. So we still get six-sided broadsides off. That's I think that's decent, especially for a heavy cruiser. I mean, that's going to be at least as many as most um, light cruisers, in addition to our four 9-inch guns, which you can fire. Let's save this. The rebuild cost has gone up a little bit from all that. Is it worth it? Uh, that's a good question. I actually think no. Let's save our money for the useful things. So it's 555. If I don't mess around with all that stuff, I go to improve director and then just lower this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this instead. Oh, um, okay, so cancel. Yes, we want to do this. Director here and increased elevation. Now save. Fantastic. Yes, we will rebuild you. Okay, and that's going to, like I said, limit our ability to do raiding. So we'll have to get other ships to raid. But let's keep going. Let's get these Gefion rebuilt. How do we want to do this? I don't think we're going to want to make any changes unless we've gotten quality. No, we haven't gotten better quality guns. We can go to improved director here, which means that we will take the hit and go down to 95. 95 is pretty darn low. And at this point, turret top would be useful to have. How c There's no way we can get around this. So we'll just retrofit like this and hope that the rounds per gun if we're going to simulate battles if we ever like auto resolve i don't think rounds per gun plays an important role unless it gets deep into the fight so typically it won't and improved director will pay it play a big part i'm pretty sure it plays a really big part on the simulation but everything else we're pretty much okay with so let's save this um it's a little on the low side it is complaining we could also go to increased elevation which i forgot I don't disagree, it is a little on the low side, but pray tell, what is the, what's the solution? How do you get around it? At 1200, we replaced the machinery and it cost 5000 more. Hmm. 
But with that extra space, geez, we could get these up to 26. The turret top, okay, well, uh, maybe this is one worth doing. Okay, we're <laughs> just going a little crazy here, but it means that the turrets are not gonna be as destructible. Uh, okay, is that? The ammo is still on the low side. Which one's more important, 1 1.5 or 2 or 2.5 on the turrets? Higher turret? I think so. I think I'm gonna go with 1.5 for this to give us a little bit more ammo. Yeah, that's um, that's a very expensive rebuild too, but I, it's probably worth it. If we're gonna keep these ships, we might as well make them usable. And let's rebuild all these to the same. If we're not gonna scrap them, we might as well take them seriously. I don't think that there's any reasonable middle ground. <clears throat> okay, these guys, uh, we'll wait one more turn for the Visorberg to come back. I think we're good, so let's go ahead and proceed. Oh. What, what do you mean? Okay, actually, I'm gonna put some of these in Southeast Asia onto Okay, first of all, let's put two into Northeast Asia. And then let's set two of these guys in Southeast Asia to Coastal Patrol. Wait, 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 foreign stations. I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> I, and then, in which case, we actually wanted to send three, I think I remember. Sorry about that. And the way we can get rid of the foreign stations thing is just by doing this. Okay, you are on foreign station now. Ah, we need two of them to be on foreign station. I mean, here, why don't I just set two of these guys to foreign station then? Yes, and then put move, move both of those to Northeast Asia directly. Ah, sorry about that. That was annoying for me and you, I'm sure. Great, now we're done. Okay. Oh, good. This is great. This is very good for building new ships. We can finally put our side guns into turrets. Okay, so they sink one of our ships, gained five victory points, but they lost another submarine. Another interned. Wow, four ships. Cruiser action, which, yeah, we're just going to wait. Cruiser, cruiser. I think I'm in decline. It is my good cruisers against... Oh, destroyer action. Definitely decline. <laughs> Convoy attack? Technically, we only have... What? They have a dreadnought over there? I don't believe it. But it'll probably be like our destroyers against their destroyers, so I'll decline. And then we usually kind of make up our victory points just by the fact that we're blockading, which is also adding to the unrest of the Russian people. Okay, so we got these guys on foreign station. Sort by type. Let's take them off and put them on the active. Okay, we're still 5200 short, which means that yes, we actually do need to put one of these guys back on foreign station and move them to Southeast Asia just to satisfy our tonnage requirements. Okay, very good. That should settle all that. We have the Weissenberg back. I'm still gonna push one turn. I'm so hopeful. I'm so hopeful that we'll get um, the 13 inch improved guns before we do the upgrade. I just don't like doing the retrofit with only, gosh, with just forcing them to do quality negative one again. Uh, it's just, it doesn't feel right. <clears throat> okay, so we have improved director. The next thing we could do with fire control is advanced director. I don't know if we need, this is at 17, it's so high, which is fantastic, but I really want better guns. So should I do any more adjustment of this? Hmm. Really, because we also want ship design. We want, um, I'm gonna put this one to medium actually. And I think I'll put even fire control to medium. I want all or nothing armor and I want better naval guns. So we need to decrease other stuff so that the relative focus moves towards those. Great, we still have a lot of money and some funds, but at least we have some submarines being built. And we're rebuilding a lot of ships. I mean, it doesn't look like these, that is classes, 
Oh, those have already been rebuilt, so they're all raiding right now. Okay, I see. So I could have just um, satisfied the requirement by taking one of these guys off raiding. And considering there's not a whole lot of people, yeah, let's just uh, move this one actually to Northeast Asia. Basically just let's get some more raiding in Northeast Asia. We'll send two of them in there. Because there's actual colonies, actual Russian colonies in Northeast Asia. None in Southeast Asia. Okay, we got another ship. Better ASW. We're causing hardships. Okay, so this is where I could auto-resolve, but let's fight it just because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Zoom in as quickly as possible, get all the things going on. The screen set up. I'll try to keep this, try to make this quick. Okay, there's the unknown ship. Okay, we are dead calm, so wind doesn't matter. But I'm gonna still take the wind side just in case the wind acts up. Okay, let's move at him. Oh, let's go squad max, hello. I'm, I'm very stupid. I don't think they'll get away. 28 knots is pretty darn fast. We think it's a destroyer, but I'm not sure about that. There it is, Svetlana class. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Yeah, a pretty old cruiser. Only four inch guns. Two, two, one, one and a half, four. That's very, very low. Compared to us, two and a half, one, three, six. Yeah. And the Lubeck's a pretty, a bit of a veteran, as you can see. Lots of experience. Should be in really good shape. Okay, we were hit, and they penetrated. We don't expect that'll happen for long. Okay, watch out for torpedoes. Another hit from us. Gee, are on us. That didn't start off very good, did it? There we go. It's a little better. Okay, let's turn. Oh wow, so there's really slow and I think we've won it. Let's go down, oh, we already are going slow. Just to encourage torpedoes. As soon as one torpedo gets off, we win, so. I wonder why we're not launching torpedoes, do I? Oh, there it is. Damn it, you missed a, a stationary target. But we win anyway. Okay, good, that didn't take too long. So, you know, just some free victory points. That's what they get for trying to run the blockade. Not a whole lot of victory points, but enough that we can decline everything else. We're still getting 200 victory points for blockading. Let's see. So our Von der Tan, thwarted a Russian raider. They are trying to rebuild their just decimated fleet. A lot of steel shortages, huh? Hmm. Everything else is fine. Okay, so they rebuilt the ship, that's why. I guess it doesn't show up if it's being rebuilt, because it. one of them showed it as building and one of them showed it as active when I looked at the almanac in the beginning. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so do we need to change anything? No, I don't think so. Steady as she goes. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. This is one of the ones that was underweight, right? I think she was like 20 tons underweight, the DS-19. So I'm really happy with that. It's going to make her very fast. Okay, cruiser battle. Battle cruisers versus their light cruisers. I really should. But it only gives them 40 victory points, and it's just not worth my time. <laughs> okay, come on. I have to accept this. <laughs> oh, the Lutza. Oh, it's a battle cruiser. I want to fight this one. Let's give our battle cruiser some action. Three, four, five, six. Click, fast, go. Okay, unknown ship sighted, squad max. Here we go. It could be, it could be a, a oh wow. Okay, so this is a terribly lopsided fight. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, the 14 inch gun hits, oh my gosh. Save them. <laughs> 
I'm not even going to worry about um, staying stationary at all for my gunnery purposes. Only thing I'm interested in, wow, that was quick. <laughs> it's avoiding torpedoes to finish my thought. Good. That was fun. I wish every battle was that easy. No, I don't. I, I enjoyed the challenge. Okay, yeah, I forgot to check actually to see what speed that these guys have. 34, wow, that's excellent. Ah, oh, I love those destroyers now. We might as well go and build a whole bunch more. So I think we should not let them off cheaply. I wouldn't mind ending the war, but at the same time, we don't really need to. I wouldn't mind also capturing some colonies, so. Good. And we will send a diplomatic note. Okay, yeah, because tensions will drop as soon as the war ends. Okay, let's see. I was really hoping they would decline. I just took a look and it seemed like they didn't have a realistic unit estimated. Okay, destroyer action, decline that. Who cares? A fleet battle. They do have two battleships left, so we'll accept this. Okay, they declined. It's fine. So West Africa, we have more... F oh my gosh, who went to West Africa? I knew it. I knew it. I was like, I bet you somehow one of the guys... This guy's even active force and he still went. Uh, okay, let's put them both to active force. And get them both back over to Northeast Asia. Because it's possible I forgot to turn one of these guys off of foreign stations. But I didn't turn both of them off. One of them was on active force and he just still went. Yeah, we want them both to go to Northeast Asia. Actually, we probably want one and one. There. <clears throat> Is that correct? Oh, it's the Indian Ocean that's missing. What the heck? Okay, well, we can take one of our Southeast guys off of... Let's put him onto Foreign Station. I'll just remember next turn to change him and put him to the Indian Ocean. Good, all done. Da -da -da, da -da -da. All right, more declining. It is fun doing the cruiser battles, but it's not so fun that we have to do it. I'd rather get into another big fleet battle. All right, so we have nobody. Nobody is on foreign station. I'm looking, and nobody's on foreign station. So everyone should just go where they're supposed to. Hmm, okay, good. Next. What? Why is there insufficient people? West Africa. That's funny. <laughs> Because we just told our battleships to leave there. Yeah, yeah, now that you mention it, there is nobody in West Africa. Well, we can save that. We'll send this guy to Foreign Station. And we'll actually send him to West Africa. Now, that's going to eliminate our fleet in the Indian Ocean. Which for now is okay because there's two battleships there. But we need to pull another raider. So let's get one of these guys to be active fleet and go to the Indian Ocean. Okay, and carry on. Dock size no, is not a limit at all now. And the Navy can fight on if needed. No common ground, that's still completely fine with us. Even though they're probably making small gains considering we're declining everything. Ah, right on enemy shipping. That's tempting. Okay, well, I mean, we can't just accept everything, or decline everything. Okay, that, that worked out well. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter. Even losing 1,000, if we're up 28 to, to 4,000, even losing 1,000 isn't important, so I can just decline at will. We had somebody on foreign stations. They need to stay there until my other guy gets to the Indian Ocean, which is one more turn. Okay, one more turn. Oh, good. That's exactly what I wanted. And the Weissenberg had what trouble? She'll be in for. Uh, okay, well, let's um fight this, and we'll call this the last action of this episode. 
hopefully it's not too exciting of a conclusion because <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, squad max, here we go. We are kind of windside already. Svetlana, wow, these Svetlanas, they're just popping out of the woodwork, man, everywhere. One, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, they're at an oblique angle, they can't launch, so we'll keep going. I think we're actually faster than the Svetlana, or equal, equal, okay. So, wow, we've already done a lot of damage. <laughs> Destroyed a turret. Uh, the disabling of it, I'm not sure what, what that, how that works. Come on, come on. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself manifested as a torpedo. Jeez, man, no luck. You do, do you have director firing too? This is what you call improved director. Who's your director? He is not improved. He is an under-improved. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's just keep going. Keep going. Oh bother, somebody mentioned a way I can keep the camera centered on, uh, yeah, that, the lock. Fantastic. Thank you, I forgot who did that, but. I think it said we were avoiding torpedoes, so that's good. That means that's over with. Good, yay, no hits. Another decisive victory. Well, things are going really well in our war. Um, it's just child's play at this point. In fact, probably all what I'll do off camera is advance this into the end of the war. So when you come back, we should have some peace terms. Before we do that, though, right before we go, we have to take care of this extra money. The state's going to start requisitioning it. I don't think they usually take it away when you're at war. So now is the time. We just have to... Let's just... Okay, but let's just go crazy. The battlecruisers have been handling themselves rather well. I think it's time to get a few more. So Vonderton, even though you're from 1913 and it's already 1919, we're going to request two more. Okay, that has not even done enough. So we will get these, uh, what if we design a new light cruiser real fast? No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, um, weird. What is going on here? I don't like anything about this. I mean, I want the side swivel, that's wonderful, but I don't like this nonsense right there. I'd rather add forward center line. Yep, that's better to me, even though our funnel's a little weirdly placed now. So how many should, I have five, a five side broadside with lots of torpedoes. Yeah, this is a pretty fast... Can we get one more, maybe? I'd be willing to go down to 2.5. No, but I want to go up to 3, so... Yeah, let's lower that again. <sighs> uh, let's drop that. I don't think we need any 3-inch guns. Hmm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Is this how we can't get one more? Half center line? What does that look like? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... It's just weird to me that there's not a forward-facing gun this way, but yeah, I don't really care about that one. Delete it. We'll just stick with five. This will be. It does have torpedoes at least, so um, let's go down to twenty mines. Uh, it would be nice to get three. We can. Hmm. It's not so fast though. What if we increase this, the displacement a little bit? Can we get? No. 
Come on. Okay, what about now? Perfect. I, I, I just didn't want to walk around with turret tops blown up. Okay, well. I think we're good. So let's save this as a new class. And I did not spend a lot of time thinking about this, but let's build four of them. Fantastic. That should eduate our money. And hey, you know what? Those destroyers were successful since we're rolling in the dough right now. Let's just get another 12 of those. <laughs> I throw them away very easily anyway. And that should help. Okay, well, thanks for watching this episode, and I will catch you in the next one.